Thursday morning and I felt like a change of scenery, so I came here. You ready? I think you know that bike by now. Uh, it's a Polygon Helios A9X. Talked about it plenty. Have a look at the links below for more. Sounds like there's a ferry coming. And I'm at Kirribilli and I have a plan, a mild plan. I want to go to Lane Cove National Park because I've ridden there before and it's lovely. Um, I'd really like some advice on how to get there from the city safely on the bicycle. So if you, uh, if you know, just uh, drop a comment down below, please. Look at this ferry, it's a picture. Might do a little time lapse here because there's a bit of texture in the sky and yeah, why not? Um, I got up early, got a bit of work done, so now I'm free to run. All right, let's uh, let's see what uh, the old sunrise can deliver for me in terms of pictures. <laughs> There's a community ride on, just while I think about it. There's, or there's a mass participation ride on called the Bowral Classic that's coming up this Sunday. My neighbour Matt is doing it and he's been getting ready for a while and uh, he's quite excited and I think there's a lot of uh, those sorts of events coming up in the next few weeks, months and uh, it's a shame to say but uh, the Grand Fondo trend that uh, emerged a few years ago is abating in Australia because, quite simply, road closures are too uh, costly. And basically, uh, a lot of things are being put in place to uh, hinder that movement that was developing and uh, introducing many to the bicycle. But I mention that because I'm actually toying with the idea of going down to Bowral and uh, having a pedal with a few hundred, maybe thousand other people. Are you going? Okay. What's your motivation? Whew. I haven't done one of the Bicycling Australia rides before because that's another cycling media company in Australia, but uh, I get on pretty real, well with James Yaffa and um, I'll have a chat with him today and find out how it's going for the preparations of an event that actually uh, stood the test of time. So good on you, James. You've done well. Um, I know that you actually have come to love the bicycle and um, I hope your event is a success. Yeah, we may be rivals on some fronts, but you know, we're all in this together. That's my opinion. Okay, that was random thought. I didn't really plan to say any of that, but it, it just came out because it's one of the things on my mind. Now, let's have a look and see what these clouds and the sun can deliver. I think that's pretty funny. Let me explain a slight deviation. So, uh, if you're a bike rider in Sydney, you're probably like me and you've ridden over the path bridge a zillion times. And you look down to the west and you see this. I'll show you. One second. The Kayaka Bunch. Yeah, they go that most mornings. This is a Thursday morning, so it's not like a weekend or anything. They just hang out and in the, in the bay here near McMahon's Point. And then I don't know where they set off, but I, I'd like to know more. And then they just, maybe they just sit here and look at this. You know, just take in the view. You know, it is pretty cliche, but it's, it's cliche because it's bloody beautiful. Anyway, should we do that uh, funny right away? Let's go. Silly face after all, isn't it? I meant that one. <laughs> Thank you. 
See that tiny little sign on the other side of the street that I was pointing at? To be clear, that was, um, <laughs> that is a sign that is on the other side of the road, but it's, it's facing the bike rider on this side of the road. And the font is about this big. And I, um, you know, like you've got to slow down to like try and read what it says. And it said Gore Hill freeway bike path or something like that. I don't know, because it was too far away. Um, anyway, this is a little theme that is probably going to develop from the story of this ride on a Thursday morning. Because I started talking about it yesterday while riding about the M7 motorway, which is terrific. Well, not the M7 motorway, well, give or take. But the M7 cycleway is terrific. But the signposting, it's a piss take. Okay, further to that previous comment, here's another example, right? Go past the, across the road, and this was on the other side of the road. But it was stuck behind that truck. So chances of finding it are pretty slim. Anyway, given the choices, um, Camaray is more or less where I am. Narrenburn is a little bit that way. Chatswood's a little bit that way. North Sydney's that way, and Macquarie Park's that way. Tell me the logic. Tell me the logic. Okay, I I'm not gonna get angry, I'm just pointing it out. But, there is good news from all of this. I found the path that I was actually looking for. It wasn't easy. I only, only that I knew that it existed is what allowed me to get here. So, I don't know if it's sort of like the surfing culture, you know, locals only, where it's like a bit of a secret society. Those who know, know that it's good. Those who don't know that it exists, would never come here because, well, where's the queue to Compor? But now I'm here, I'll tell you, so that's uh, 16k into my ride, and I know that there's kilometres of hassle-free riding coming up and a bloody bucket load of motoring noise, motor noise, motor car noise, vehicle noise next to me. But anyway, um, let's have a look at this sign. Artarman, it's correct, Chatswood correct. So all of these are going in the same direction, which is a little bit of a novelty for the road signs about bikes in Sydney. Okay, getting that, right. Give me this any day. Way better than that. At least in my appraisal, even if it is raining. I've done about 2K on this. And yeah, pretty good. I think there was a section back there which has been swept about once a year. But again, I'm not being negative, I promise. That would suggest I'm sort of closing in on the destination I had planned for today. Wish me luck. So, Lane Cove National Park, to be clear, isn't exactly at Lane Cove, it's nearby Lane Cove. So, I've actually plugged it into my phone and uh, I've taken some cues from my, my watch. Okay, so, before I was just trying to use the signs, I've given up on that because there's not one that says Lane Cove National Park. And given that I've now passed the, you know, the centre of Lane Cove proper, that signage has come to a halt. So anyway, um, there's, there are plenty of bike riders on this path and they're all looking at me, but I'm ignoring them uh, only because I'm concentrating on, you know, on a, on a direction that I've tried before and gotten lost with before, so see how we go today.
uh, but that's uh, over 5k on a, yeah, more or less a protected road. Lots of driveways, poor surface, uh, could do with a sweep. And there is a marking saying where pedestrians go and bike riders should go, but no one pays attention, so forget about it. Just keep your wits about you. But if you're riding a bike in Sydney, you know that. That's rule number one, keep your wits about you. That looks so encouraging, doesn't it? Like this huge piece of artistic infrastructure purely for the pedestrian and the bike rider. It's amazing, right? I can say that's amazing, that's great. It's got a weird old surface, like it's really... But the chance of you just stumbling upon that in your quest to get around this city as a bike rider is, oh, I would say, like random, randomly finding that as a visitor, zero chance, zero. Like I live here. I've got directions coming at me from every which way, like my knowledge of the area, the old uh, Apple Watch, this uh, voice in my pocket saying, turn here, go on Delhi Road and the, and the traffic's going, don't come on here. And then the bridge is going, come to me. But you have to go along this funny little footpath that leads to what is sort of meant to be a major thoroughfare, only that it it begins and ends nowhere. We'll, we'll see where it goes. So. That's the amazing bridge. You know, like, it's probably more art than engineering, but it could be a bit of both, who knows, but... And now, let's see if we get another sign, because I've just sort of been led down this ramp, because that's what logic dictates, because I'm on a bike and it said it was a bike bridge. Here we go, Macquarie Uni. And North Ride Station. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just trying to get there. What do you say, Watch? Watch is like, you don't know what you're doing, buddy. You're just doing the wrong thing. But I'm doing the safe thing because it keeps telling me to go on roads which just aren't designed for bike riders at all, at all, at all. Big field there. What's that all about? Here's a bit of art. I'll film long enough to show you because I don't know if it's trying to be Burj Khalifa or something, but looks a bit like that, I suppose. I don't know. I'll have to look at the pictures. Kids tell me more. It's just a bit like that. So that's there. And I've just seen a street sign that I've never, ever, ever seen in my life. So I'm going to just show you. This is like, a, it's a great message, but it's a, it's a road sign, okay? It's bizarre. Yeah, I'm all for it, but is it really? Are we in? Are we in a situation where it's so bad that they got to put a sign up? This is what. That's odd. That's the strangest great sign I've ever seen. I'm all for the uh, sentiment. Yeah, hashtag racism not welcome. That's obvious. Anyway, I've made a point, haven't I? So past the old um, sculpture. And I just saw a bike rider coming from this road. And I think it's in a rough direction of where I'm trying to get to. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Doesn't seem very busy because all around is traffic mayhem, but here is only one car coming past me now. You know what a car looks like. Okay, let's continue. So. It feels promising, but I've said that, you know, in attempts at doing this before. Come on, come on, no right, no, I don't know what to do now. Oh, here, a bike sign's just popped up out of nowhere. Look for you, you need to try. 
I watch this nagging me, so I better take a check and tell me. It's saying dismount again. Okay. Uh, I mean, I've said I'm bad at directions, but like I'm really concentrating on this one and it doesn't, it's not adding up. I just want to point something out, okay? So while, if you look at the my Strava file, uh, I, I, yeah, it, it's bloody confusing, it's terribly slow. I've been on the bike an hour and a half. I've gone bloody nowhere, 27 kilometers, and I've just seen my first sign fall. If you can make it out through that traffic, it says, this is your destination, Rob. And it's also, um, the sign I pointed to earlier was saying, yeah, 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 this is a, yeah, just walk here, just ride here, you know, like life's good. No, life is terrifying if you rode a bike here. How I'm gonna get there I don't know. I think, oh my God. I think there's a chance because traffic's coming to a standstill. <laughs> it's a miracle. I did it, but I don't know how. And if you're thinking of doing all of that on your skateboard, I have some news for you. Okay, so don't skate here. Ride your bike. Okay, let's go. Well, that, that was very unpleasant. But um, now I'm here, I'm, hopefully I'm just gonna calm the farm. And up and down and up and down until it rains and soaks me wet. We'll see what happens. Bye bye traffic. Oh, that was, that was an experience. I don't know how I'm going to tell that story because it's, it basically it's like, here, follow the signs that lead you to treachery. Absolute and other treachery. Uh, but, you know, like we're in our offices, say the politicians, and, and we can tell you, guess what, you know, we really encourage cycling. Yes, we do. Yes, it's a, it's a great thing to do. Get out there and ride your bike. Far <laughs> out. Yeah, I will. I do. But sometimes I wonder... The assumption is, I think, in Australian life, that people will drive their car. And if they ride a bike, it's just for fun. You know, like I do it for fun. I love, I, it's my hobby, but it's also my job. And it's also something that is practical if the road network was practical. Here, it's not, not at all. It's, I mean, even just get the signs right. You know, like if there's a road to nowhere, just say at the beginning of it, Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a road to nowhere, but oh, here, I know, let's put the signs in camo colors so that no one can read them or, or, or even see them if they need them. All right. I, I tried not to complain that there might've been a few negative comments um, in that uh, diatribe, but you know, anyway, I know this road and I know, because I've been here often, well, a few times, but each time I'm like, how did I get there? Just like I did now. But when I am here, I go, wow, this is terrific. 